There are some intriguing suggestions regarding who the villain of Marvel Studios' next television series, Agatha All Along, might be. In tandem with a brand new coven, the witch will work to recover what has been lost, including the return of Agatha Harkness in her quest to regain her power. That being said, the identity of the main opponent is still unknown, the Scarlet Witch, a formidable practitioner of chaos magic, was fully accepted by Wanda Maximoff at the conclusion of 2021's WandaVision. Prior to entangling Harkness in a spell that led her to think she was just another curious neighbor in the community of Westview, she also seized Agatha's magic, but after Wanda dies, Agatha all along will witness the enchantment being broken. Giving Agatha the chance to attempt regaining her ability. In light of that, the following six hypotheses suggest potential villains for Agatha all along, number six, teen, Demiurge slash Billy Kaplan, the character Joe Locke is playing in Agatha all along is only mentioned as teen in the teaser trailers. The true name of this adolescent character has not been disclosed, perhaps until the show's actual premiere, given that teen is unapologetically fascinated with Agatha Harkness and her past, the mystery around him has also just become stronger. He will also assist in releasing her from Wanda's enchantment, needing her to help him travel down the witch's road, it's unclear what teen's true motives are. Still, the general consensus has been that Joe Locke's teen is actually Billy Kaplan, Wanda Maximoff's reincarnation son. A specific image from the trailers that shows Joe Locke's character wearing red and a blue headband, a reference to the Halloween outfit that the younger Billy Maximoff wore in WandaVision, which was a nod to Billy Kaplan's Wiccan costume in the comics, has been the most telling indication. Billy Kaplan's character, Teen, may address his reasons for following the witch's road in light of this. It is implied in the teasers that individuals who travel the witch's road and reach the finish line receive what they most desire. This would mean the return of Agatha's supernatural powers. Billy, if Teen is really that person, could wish to bring his mother back. Naturally, this would make him angry with Agatha. Billy can be pursuing his own ambition for more authority at the same time. Marvel Comics Wiccan is the predicted entity known as the Demiurge, a being who possesses the power of creation itself and is the son of the Scarlet Witch, number 5, Rio Vidal, the mysterious Green Witch, the most enigmatic of them all is Aubrey Plaza's Rio Vidal, even though Agatha and Teen will be gathering a whole new coven of witches to accompany them on the witch's road. In the teasers, Agatha imagines herself as a detective looking into Wanda's death. Rio, also referred to as the Green Witch, is visible in her thoughts. Rio is later shown rising from the earth, implying that her magic might originate from the ground itself. Rio from Agatha all along has also been compared to Gia, an elder god in the Marvel Universe who is comparable to Mother Nature. Rio's secret identity as Gia could have a significant impact on the MCU's supernatural elements. Gia's arrival could pave the way for Thon, her brother, to make his MCU debut, in addition to introducing a new magical god to the universe. Thon, another elder god, is the architect of the Darkhold and Chaos Magic. Which is essentially where Wanda Maximoff gets her abilities, Rio Vidal might be a significant turning point in the MCU in light of this. Given the possibility of the Scarlet Witch's probable resurrection following her self-sacrifice in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, this is especially true. Maybe it's time for Gia and Thon to make their appearance in Agatha all along, after they demolished Mount Wondegore and all copies of the Darkhold. Number 4, Mephisto, will the Demon Lord finally get his MCU debut? Mephisto has been rumored for the MCU since 2021's WandaVision. Rumors and theories were running rampant, many of which bled over into the first season of Loki as well. Mephisto was spotted behind every character in WandaVision, including Agatha's husband Fake Pietro aka Ralph Bonner, Dottie, Director Hayward, a cicada, and even Agatha's pet rabbit Senor Scratchy. While it's been rumored that Mephisto is still coming to the MCU and has even been cast with Sasha Baron Cohen in the role, MCU fans have yet to actually see the Marvel Universe's Demon Lord on screen, in light of this, maybe Agatha all along is the right place for Mephisto to make his MCU debut. 
After all, the witch's road appears to be plagued by a variety of otherworldly evils, including what appear to be demons, in the teaser for the next Marvel television series. At the end of the road, Mephisto might be the one to bestow the awards. Having said that, it does seem likely that the Demon Lord will include some kind of covert catch if he gives someone what they most desire. He certainly enjoys his Faustian deals, number 3, on the list, Thon, the Elder God of Chaos Magic, Rio Vidal may or may not turn out to be Gia, but Thon may still pose a serious threat in Agatha all along. Thon has grand intentions for Wanda to become his evil vessel on Earth in the comic books. But when the Scarlet Witch showed herself to be too strong and managed to confine him inside her own spirit, his intentions completely backfired. It could be time for Thon to look for a new vessel now that Wanda has left the Marvel Cinematic Universe, maybe Teen will be considered as a worthy vessel for Thon to possess in Agatha all along if he is, in fact, the Scarlet Witch's son. Similarly, the thought of Wanda coming back to life and being his puppet may also be quite sinister. In any case, Thon's appearance would undoubtedly raise the stakes. And power levels of the supernatural stories in the MCU, number 2, on the list, Resurrected Scarlet Witch, Wanda Back from the Dead, in Agatha all along, each incarnation of the reborn Scarlet Witch has the potential to become a serious menace. It is not difficult to envision a sinister and twisted Wanda, twisting what Agatha, Teen, or Billy most desired. Additionally, a resurrection would grant MCU fans the long-desired return of Scarlet Witch, something they have been waiting for since Multiverse of Madness and Wanda's passing. Wanda was once a hero, before the Darkhold corrupted her, and one would think that she could return to that form. It does appear plausible, though, that a revival could require a great deal of black chaotic magic. If that's the case, there would probably be some negative consequences. In any case, there's at least historical precedent for a resurrection occurring at the Witch's Road's terminus. The comics depict Agatha's resuscitation as her spirit taking on a new form following Wanda's journey down the road. Therefore, maybe Agatha all along wants to change the story by having Wanda come in and Agatha go down the road. Number 1, on the list, Agatha's original coven, Evanora Harkness and the Sailmites, the possibility that Agatha's new coven may confront her previous one in Agatha all along is another fascinating theory. Agatha was placed on trial by her own mother, Evanora Harkness, and their coven. The Sailmites, as shown in a pivotal flashback in WandaVision. The Coven's effort to put Agatha to death by using their magical energies for disobeying their laws and obtaining dark knowledge that was above her age and station failed when they discovered Agatha's newfound dark abilities. She killed her own mother as well, demonstrating her excessive authority. Agatha may have slain all the Sailmites, but they may still exist in the Witch's Road. The mystical dimension of existence depicted in comics allows Wanda Maximoff to meet and communicate with her mother's spirit, which explains why time is constrained to being ambiguous and flexible. Since Agatha Harkness and her new coven are setting off on the MCU's Witch's Road, perhaps the Sailmites will finally have to deal with her. Disney is slated to air Agatha all along on September 18th. That concludes subjects, unlock the mysteries of narrative with our YouTube channel's Guide to the Art of Cinema. Join us as we explore the plots, characters, and pure enchantment that movies bring into our lives. From writing to screen, we have you covered. Join us as we examine, evaluate, and celebrate the magic of movies. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.